This is Lauren Cheek from Lauricopia, and today I'm going to do a little bit of my genealogy where I'm trying to bridge the gap between my ancestor, William de Bouteville, or de Beville, who is the brother of Humphrey de Beville, who you can find in the Doomsday Book, Owning Land After the Conquest, to their father, uh, who was Sewell or Sesswallow or Saxwallow de Beville. And it appears that Saxwallow might have been a priest and that he had land in England uh, previous to the conquest and got to keep some of it after the conquest uh, because I think he was probably French. But as I'm going down the line, I'm going to take you to a document that shows why I tend to think that I'm descended from Bernard the Dane, but that may not actually be accurate. That's just a stab in the dark. I'm like, we're related to somebody. Um, <laughs> who was French nobility, and here's why. Um, and I know here's why. Because if you turn around to this document, this is a book titled um, Plantagenet Ancestry, A Study of Colonial America, or of Colonial and Medieval Families, Second Edition. Okay? And I'm searching under William de Beville, right? Because I'm trying to find that particular William de Beville. De Beville. But what I do end up coming up with is lots of Bevilles, you see the name here, listed as kinsmen of the king. Now, I am not exactly pre precisely sure, but you see them all the way over here. King's kinsman, King's kinsman, King's kinsman, King's kinsman, Beville, Beville, Raymond de Bovis Villa, Beville, um, King's kinsman, blah, blah, blah. Uh, Beville, King's Kinsman, Bertram. Um, so I had to go do a genealogy of this family to see where, sorry, the, the camera's out of focus, <clears throat> see where the Bevilles were coming from, okay? So I did it, and I'm not going to take you through every page, but it's not in perfect order, but I traced uh, the Bernard de Beville, for instance, and his brother, I think his brother was Bertram, to here. And you would be surprised where they end up coming from and how they derive the Beville name. Now, I don't know absolutely with certainty that these are my ancestors, but I have a pretty good hunch they are. Or they're related to me um, somewhere up the branch because this is where they're coming from in France. So you have Pierre de Beville. He is Bernard's son, okay? Then you go back to Bernard de Beville. He's the son of Arnold de Beville and Guillemette de Gavaret, okay, who is his cousin, I found out as I'm going through the branches. Born about 1150, died about 1198. So we're getting closer to 1066. But Arnold de Beville, his father, uh, was born in 995, uh, whose father was Roger de Gavaret and an unnamed mother, right? Then you go to the next generation and you have Roger de Gavaret, who married a Beville woman who is unnamed. The children took her name, and I'm going to explain to you why, because it's bizarre. It's absolutely crazy how people moved around. So they took the Beville name, I said, to sound more French and not Spanish, and here's why, because Roger de Gavaret born in 1995 and died in 1045, was the son of Arnold Donat de Gavaret, right? He um, was born in 970 and died in 1030. He was the son of Donat Azur de Gavaret, 950 to 995. And you notice that this name is starting to sound more Spanish. Donato, or Donat Aznor de Gavaret was the son of Anner Sanche de Oloren, D. Dax, I think it is. I read it real fast. Who was the son of Sancho III, Garcia de Gascon. And when you go down to Gascon, France, Gascon, France is close to uh, Spain. And the French kings and the French descendants were marrying in and out of Spain. And if you ever look into the Spanish, uh, the, uh, Spanish kingship and you get back into this period, the Spanish kings were actually blondes because they were of French descent. A lot of them were blonde and blue-eyed. And then he's supposedly the son of Garcia Ler Sanchez uh, Le Corbe de Gascon, who was born about 860. So this is probably where my male line's coming from, the Gavaret, 
but they changed their name to Beville uh, because now they're in a different part of France and they're sounding very Spanish and they're like, well, we might want to sound a little more um, French. So what I'm thinking is uh, William, the Duke of Normandy, um, knew the Bevilles. And the Bevilles, uh, let me find it real fast because I wrote it down the other day. The Bevilles, when they were in the um, Norman Conquest, uh, just when they were in the Norman Conquest, okay, they were uh, serving under this guy. And this guy's name is uh, William. My ancestor was an officer under William's half-brother. This is William the Conqueror, Earl of Mortain in Cornwall. He was Robert Count of Mortain, half-brother of uh, William the Conqueror, through his mother, not through his father. Okay? So this is who my family traveled in with. Uh Later, this William, or his son, is married to a Guarnock princess whose name was Trevethic. It was spelled Trulthic, but it's pronounced Trevethic. And uh, Philip de Beville of Wyke's uh, Priory uh, existed under Henry I. But I'm not sure how I descend from there. Uh, to me, in the Bell family history, the, the Beville family history, Beville, Bell, Buell, Lots of names like that are one family, and they're all descended from William de Bouvillain. Also, another interesting thing is I find Sex Wallow, who's supposedly the ancestor of, actually the father of William and Humphrey, who were Guillaume and Gomfrey de Bouvillain, or de Beauville, um, depending on how you, how you find it recorded, because they Latinize everything, they uh, spell a lot of stuff in Latin, and then they come up with the closest spelling, and then you got all these influences of language. You've got uh, Scandinavian in England, you have Anglo-Saxon, you have original Britonic, um, you know, you've got those influences and you've even got uh, old uh, Roman influences from the Roman period, which ended about 500 uh, AD, um, and thus the use of Latin by everybody. But long story short, um, I don't know exactly how I traced down from him to my ancestor, Robert uh, De Checkenhole in 1209. I know Robert De Checkenhole took the name De Checkenhole from his estate, but I find a in the Shirley family history a Swallis uh, who could be Sax Wallow, who they claim to be their ancestor, who would also be my ancestor, um, to uh, own a lot of property in the Doomsday Book before and afterwards um, as well. And anyway, so. Uh, You'll see here, like I've taken down just one um, recording of the name. This is probably my William de Beauville. Uh, this is William Fitz Sexwallow de Beville, subtenant of Geoffrey Mandeville. And Geoffrey Mandeville was under the Earl of Mortain, and then we were under him. And apparently we uh, flew the banners of these two guys uh, during that campaign, that hostile overtake. <laughs> But anyway, so how interesting is that to find out that I might be genetically from Spain? Probably not, because my Y DNA shows up kind of more um, north of that, like as if it's coming from um, Scandinavia, which makes me think that I was descended through Bernard the Dane. Um, but if these guys are related to me, then I'm actually... Uh, descended through the Frankish kings, um, probably, to uh, landholders on the border of Spain and uh, France. Thanks for watching. Lornacopia.